And so, uh, you know, trying to be, you know, helpful, I thought, well, what, what possibly do I know that might contribute? Um, I thought, well, I've been doing iPhone for a long time. I could talk a little bit about the transition stuff. And, and so I threw that out, and unfortunately it stinked. <laughs> so, um, so, so here I am. Um, I'm going to tell you what I know, um, and we'll, we'll, we'll go from there. Um, so look, first let me start out and tell you a little bit about myself. Um, usually I use a clicker, so I'm a little... I forgot to get my clicker. I was running behind, sorry. Had a little bit of a family thing. Just see, most of you guys here are way too young. Just saying. Um, not nearly enough gray hair in the room. So yeah, yeah it's the whole... Th yeah, I've got kids, and they kind of, you know. Anyway, <clears throat> so a little bit about myself. Um, I have a CS degree from BYU. I got it uh, quite a while ago. Uh, well, not that long ago. Um, and uh, I worked for 10 years at Novell, um, eight years as a developer on a lot of different projects. I kept getting pulled on to the latest, newest, funnest thing. It was, it was a good time. And then the uh, last couple of years, I worked at Novell as a product manager. Um, product manager being the guy that puts together the PRD, the requirements doc. Uh, I spent a lot of time talking to sales guys, uh, talking to customers, trying to figure out, okay, so what's a legitimate <coughs> thing, to, next thing to do with a product? Um, pretty fun. But um, I, I got riffed from Novell. Uh, if you're not familiar with the term, you young folks, uh, reduction in force, I got canned. Um, Novell has this um, habit of, of doing layoffs. It's, it's like crack. They can't stop doing it. Um, and uh, so anyway, uh, after 10 years, I, I finally got, uh, got it. Um, and at the height of the recession, yeah. awesome. Um, and so, so that was a little bit of a trouble. So, so I decided, hey, what, what do I do? I, I needed to, I, I didn't have enough experience as a product manager to go get a product manager job. You need like about three, four years. I had two. Yeah, it sucked to be married. Um, I, uh, I worked as long enough as a product manager, otherwise known as not a coder, that uh, my coding skills were pretty rough. I, I had a really hard time uh, trying to find a, a programming job. So I was like, all right, what am I going to do? Well, I need to brush up on my programming skills. So I, I started doing some iPhone development. That was about two years ago. And uh, I started out, wrote a couple of my own apps, published them. I uh, started working for some other people, writing their apps, published those. Um, came up with a few ideas for my own apps, published those. They started selling pretty good, and now that's all I do. So um, I published about 15 different mobile apps. I tried to count them up um, the other day when I was doing the outline for this. About 15 different mobile apps. Actually, I think I counted that early this morning when the wind was blowing. And so, uh, yeah, it might be off. It's probably a higher number. Um, I've done, but uh, you know, 1,001 updates. Um, as as a, a little bit of a qualification on my Android skills, I have one Android app on the App Store right now, on the Android market, excuse me. Um, app Store is only Apple. Um, so yeah, so I've, I've done a variety of different things. Uh, I've done contract work, I've you know, published my own stuff, I've um, worked you know, kind of salary for other people. Um, actually I worked for Solution Stream. Um, when they bid on the uh, um, Ancestry um, app here, a year ago, I can't remember. Anyway, we lost. That's all right. I didn't want to do it anyway. Um, <laughs> so uh, here's here's kind of an agenda. Um, I have a little bit of a businessy background, so we're going to talk a little bit about that, mostly because I have some questions, and I'm hoping you guys are going to help an answer some of them. Um, so that, that's kind of the give and take part of 
you present, I get to ask questions. Um, so I've got some some kind of overall businessy kind of things to talk about. Um, hopefully, don't bore you too much. If 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 it get, if it's like hey, I've already know how to do this, um, you know, wave your hand or something, throw pizza at me, and I'll, I'll go faster. Um, and and we'll we'll kind of move from businessy down into um, into code. Um, <clears throat> My kind of my goal in putting this presentation together is, is like, okay, suppose you're an iPhone developer. Um, what are you going to run into? You want to you want to publish yourself, you know, the next Angry Birds, right, for for Android um, or something, right? Um, what do you run into? So, um, so that that's what we're going to talk about. Um, we're talking Android tonight. If, if you want to talk iPhone stuff, I, I'll talk forever about that too. Uh, but I'm going to try and keep it to Android. Uh, let me talk a little bit about my philosophy about platforms. I've got a Mac here. I, I started on the iPhone. I'm doing Android now. I'm actually kind of agnostic. I, all I really care about is do I make enough money to feed my family? That's, that, that, that's my bottom line. If, if tomorrow that means that Windows Mobile 7 is the bomb, Hey, I'm all over it. Okay, uh, I, I can I can flush code with the best of them. But um, today I I do iPhone and Android because that's where the money is. Show me the money, right? Um, so yeah, um, I don't know everything. I've only been doing Android for a while. I've been doing iPhone for quite a while. Um, but anyway, um, do ask questions. Do provide input. Uh, a number of my slides, I'm going to say what I know, and then I'm going to say what do you guys think, okay? Because I don't know everything. Um, and so yeah, please participate. And I'll send out slides later if you guys want them, so so don't have to worry about copying down URLs or anything like that. Um, so let's start out with the first most important business question: How do I make money? Selling apps. So this is like self publishing kind of thing, right? Um, so, because, you know, Angry Birds is like magic, you know, make it, we're going to be all millionaires doing mobile development, right? Um, the reality is, is you make money selling apps the same way that you make money on the internet selling junk, selling stuff through mail order, selling through a retail store. It's the same thing, right? All you do is you deliver value that people are willing to pay for. That's all there is. Um, it's kind of an oversimplification, but but that that's the point, right? If you deliver value, people are willing to pay for it. People are willing to pay a couple bucks for Angry Birds because it's cool. It's awesome. You know, it makes funny noises as the bird flies, um, and so so it's cool. Um, the, but what's different is, of course, in App Store, Android Market, whatever. It's, it's another route to market. It's another way to deliver that, that value to the customer. And um, good news for us is that solves a lot of those operational costs and operational complexity that, that was there before. Um, I, I have a, a, an uncle that used to, um, he had his own software company um, years ago. And he used to pay his kids like 10 cents a box to take the boxes make them into a box and stuff CDs and papers in them and seal them up and stack them. You, you know, that's how you used to have to sell software, right? Is you box stuff up. Well, okay, so we've moved past boxing software up, unless you're Microsoft, right? So, um, okay, so we download it. Well, then you have to stand up a server. Well, ever seen that um, UPS commercial where the UPS guy goes, uh, I don't know, these two guys are partners on a business and, and they're talking on the phone. The guy says, hey, I've got this great software. It's showing our sales. You know, it's a sales from the internet. And it's going up and then all of a sudden, boom, boom. And, you know, before, initially the guy's like, hey, this is awesome. And then all of a sudden, you know, white face. It's almost the worst thing that can happen is to have too much success because then, now I have an operational problem. I, I have to, how am I going to deliver all this stuff? Stuff to people. Well, that's the cool thing about these app stores, right? Um, Google, Apple, these guys, they've got the whole shoving bits over the internet thing down. Uh, um, they can deliver that software, they can collect the money, and they can give it to you. So that, that works really nice. Of course, you probably already know this. Anyway, so um, 
so in terms of Android, okay, so you got your nice little idea. Um, I, I'll, I'll, so when I used to do contract work, where people you know call me up on the phone and say, "Hey, I've got this really cool idea. Can you build the app for me?" Uh, nine times out of ten, they hadn't done this part. Hey, is there anybody else that's already doing that idea? I don't know. It's such a cool idea. It's mine. They wouldn't be doing that. Um, so you know that that basic market research. Is there somebody else already doing your idea? Um, Competitive information, okay, just because somebody's already doing it, that's not the end of the world. Um, how are they doing with that app, right? Are, are they, so go look at app rankings. That's a, a nice site that kind of tracks apps' rankings. Are, are they, how are they doing in their niche, right? Are, are they making money? Are they, are they growing or are they not? Another thing, and this is kind of interesting, is um, appbrain.com has this look at the change history for an app. You want to know whether or not a company is investing in an app, and thereby you could make a correlation making money that motivates them to invest in the app. How often do they update it? Right? So I, I wrote an app um, a couple of years ago for a company called Public Engines. Uh, the app's uh, name is Crime Reports. Basically, it's an iPhone app port of the crimereports.com website. Really cool app. A um, year ago, they came back to me and they said, awesome app, we're, we're very happy, we want you to update it for the iPad, here's some more graphics, fix these bugs, go. So I spent a few weeks doing that, it, was, it wasn't very much work, I sent it back to them. Their, their whole little direction had changed, they were no longer interested in the app, but they've got the code, they're sitting on it, they paid me for it. It's this awesome iPad. They haven't done the update. Slap them, right? Um, you know, so some people, for, for whatever reason, you know, they'll, they'll kind of abandon whatever caused them to publish the app in the first place. Um, maybe they're not making very much money. Well, that's kind of an indicator that either their app stinks or there isn't enough market for that cool idea, right? People aren't willing to pay maybe the price point that the guy wants. Uh, maybe they're not willing to, you know, maybe he doesn't have the right feature set. Somehow he's not delivering the value that the person's willing to pay for. So, anyway, enough soapbox. Um, so let's talk about the developer console. Um, so this is mine. I've got one app out and another app that's waiting to go. Actually, that's kind of a placeholder kind of thing. So we're, we're going to talk about a couple of things here. Um, I'll go a little bit faster since you guys are all kind of pros, right? Um, so what do you need to, to, to create an app? You need a signed APK file. You need two screenshots. You need a 5 by 12, 5, 12 by 512 version of your icon. Here's another interesting thing. Found this out. Um, this promo graphic, when you're filling out the thing and submitting your app, it says optional. It's true. You can submit your app without doing that. Well, what happens is then when you look on Android Market on your device, the little icon that that's, you'd think would be the icon for your app is actually that icon. So don't skip it. Okay. Um, so yeah, um, yeah. Optional, not. Um, if you don't do that, what happens is they take um, this icon, size it way down, stretch it, it looks like crap. So um, so while you're getting this one done, have your graphic guy produce this one.